Our customers shop here because they know we care. Ma'am, I got what you need. I'll scream. You will take what I give you! This one's good. DJ? We understand them. Is there sound coming up? We listen. I'm sorry, what? 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 Shots fired! <laughs> you know, I don't know sign language. What? You heard of hearing too? <laughs> Canadian DJ Demers is a stand-up comedian who's made millions laugh with appearances on Jimmy Kimmel and America's Got Talent. And he's out with a unique Canadian sitcom, which is the first Canadian TV series with the lead who is hard of hearing. And DJ joins us now. Good to see you, DJ. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and congratulations. The show's out today. That's right. Yeah, yes. 9 p.m. All right. Well, uh, tell us about, uh, I guess, the, the concept, because uh, I understand originally the show was not going to lean into your hearing loss, but then uh, it does now. Uh, why did things change? Yeah, well, I mean, it was always going to lean into it a little bit just because I wear hearing aids and it would be kind of impossible to do a full season and not mention them once. Although, I don't know, that'd be a pretty interesting idea too, I guess. But um, I was going to talk about it a little bit, but not too much. And then we brought on Jessie Gabe as the showrunner and she's incredible. She's done a lot of great work in this industry. And she said, no, this is such a unique thing. You have such a unique point of view you should lean into it even more. We can use all your material that you've created through your stand-up and your life, and we can really lean into it in a way that's funny and not, you know, as long as it's funny to us, then we should use it. So um, I took her advice, and I'm happy I did because I think we got a lot of good stuff in there. Well, that's what you've been doing with your stand-up as well, right? Yeah. Over the years. And what have you heard from people when you do that? Um, I'm just thinking about how funny it is that we're talking about my hearing aids, and you're like, what have you heard from I'm people? <laughs> not a lot, not a lot, but... <laughs> um, no, I've heard, I mean, it's people who wear hearing aids who have hearing issues, they, they like to hear about it because they're seeing themselves reflected up there on stage, and then uh, I like to believe I've made it kind of universal, so even if you don't wear hearing aids, I'm able to tap into some sort of emotion that you can relate to, even if you have perfect hearing. So um, I love talking about my hearing aids. They're part of who I am, so I'm glad that I'm able to uh, make some people laugh from it. Talk about the uh, pilot, uh, writing the pilot that happened uh, during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, I was just sitting there. For years, I I'd had meetings with producers who would see me after a stand-up set, and they would say, do you have any ideas for a show? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, I got so many ideas. And then I would go home, and I'd be like, I don't have any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I would always tell them, I'm just like one paragraph away from finishing this pilot, and I'll yeah. send it to you. But I had nothing. I was, I was lying the whole time. But <laughs> finally, during the pandemic, everything was shut down, so I was like, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. So I sat down. I deleted all social media for a month. I, like, focused for, like, a month and a half. I was like, I'm going to write this, and I wrote it just to write it, not knowing that a couple years later I'd be sitting here and it's an actual real television show on CBC that I'm very proud of. So yeah, I just, I'm so glad that I, I sat down and actually put a little effort into it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, what was the process, the filming, what was that like? It was amazing. I love, honestly, we're editing right now. The filming was amazing. The writing was amazing. I've loved every step of this process so much. And I've never acted before, so I was like, here we go. They're giving me a show. Let's see what happens. But um, I, I loved it. Like, I love it as much as stand-up, which I never thought I'd say about anything. It's, uh, the cast is amazing. Everybody's super talented, uh, and they just carried me through it. And... Uh, it's just, you know, even saying the lines that we wrote are funny and then you riff on some things, you improvise, that's funny. Such a great camaraderie on set. Uh, I loved it, the entire what's, experience. What's harder, uh, acting or stand-up? Uh, I would... I don't know. I mean, I would love... Stand-up's taken me like 15 years to get to a level where I feel somewhat funny. <laughs> acting, I'm not saying I was amazing at it right away, but I was able to dive into it and I think the stand-up helped the acting so I, I can't honestly answer that question but uh, they're both very hard and uh, you know I'm, I'm no uh, Daniel Day Lewis yet so I can't even say <laughs> I'm not even I'm, I'm playing a guy named DJ and my name DJ so am I even really acting I don't know <laughs> <laughs> the good news is though you get several takes in acting right stand up you're on the stage you got one shot exactly yeah, yeah <laughs> a bit joke. different yeah. Listen, as we mentioned off the top, I mean, you have been so successful to date. I mean, you've been on Jimmy Kimmel, America's Got uh, Talent. Did you ever picture uh, this day would come that you would see yourself in your own show? Um, I just want to say I, I, it, Jimmy Fallon, not Jimmy Kimmel. Sorry, just, Jimmy Fallon. That's yes. all good. I just yeah. don't want people out there being like, yeah. hey, he's never <laughs> been on Kimmel. Um, I didn't. I mean, yes, I did because that's a dream. And um, I've always kind of set goals for myself in my mind 
otherwise you're not going to achieve them if they're not you know somewhere up there but to actually say yeah I knew this would happen no I mean it's it's a dream like uh, I can't believe it's happening so I'm, I'm very grateful and I, I pinch myself that even like when I you know when you get lists of credits that I've already done I'm like oh yeah I have I have done a few things because you're just so you know you're on the journey you're just trying to figure out what the next step is so it's nice to take stock sometimes and be like, oh, no, this has been a pretty good ride. I've done some cool things. For sure, for sure. And what do you hope people get out of the show? Laughs. I just want people to laugh. Uh, Jesse, Gabe, the showrunner, and I were very adamant. We just want this to be as many laughs as we can pack in. And the whole writing team was super funny and the cast. So um, we want it to feel like heartwarming and, and we want you to feel good when you're watching it. Those things are important to us. But above all else, I just want people to laugh the entire time. Okay, as we mentioned, it is out today. One more time is streaming as of today. DJ, congratulations on everything. So happy for you, and good to see you this morning. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, guys.